Okay, students. So let us see that what are the materials we required for doing this experiment. This one is our glass slab. It's a transparent solid glass slab. Next is some board pin, board pins to fix this paper, and other some long pins because the experiment we are going to perform with the long pins. Now this is our soft drawing board. Now what we have to do at first, we have to fix this paper on this drawing board. So I'm just fixing it so that it will not move during our experiment and we can do the experiment properly. So see at the four corners, I'm fixing this one. Now we have to place this glass slab at the center of it and we have to mark the outline of the given glass slab. So after marking the outlines, so now I have marked it. Now after that, in one end, the extreme end of the one surface, we have to mark the 90 degree angle. Now you have to construct the 90 degree angle with the help of the protector but I'm just for a sake I'm doing it here the with the perpendicular line now after drawing a perpendicular line you have to construct a 30 degree angle with the base you will take the normal line so by taking the normal line as hmm, baseline I'm drawing a 30 degree angle now join that 30 degree angle at the point where the 90 degree you have constructed now on these these pins the two pins you have to fix on this line where, which you have drawn now make sure that it is exactly on the line okay now after that you place the glass slab again on the same outer boundary which you have constructed earlier now after this the two more pin you have to fix in such a way that it should be it, the base of all the four pins should be in one line is it clear means you have to set the other pin on the other side of this glass slab in such a way that the base of all the four pins should be in one straight line so now i'm fixing the pin and after that i'll show you that how it appears so let us fix the first pin okay i have set the first pin in such a way that the base of all these three pins appears in a straight line and now i'm fixing the fourth pin again in such a way that the base appears in a straight line okay it is near about exactly in a straight line so if you will see now, if you will see the apparatus properly, you will find that the base, see the base of, base of all the pins, see here the base of all the pins are coming in one line, whereas the two pins, the two pins in first and the two pin the other two pins are in different directions the top of the two pins are in different directions but the base are appearing in one straight line you see the base from this one you are seeing only one pin the reason is all the other pins the image of all the other pins are in one line so that's why you are not able to see the other pins but the original the two different pins are side apart the reason is when the light enters from the rarer to denser medium it bends towards the normal and when it moves from the denser to rarer medium it goes away from the normal 
is that clear so so this is how we have to set the pins after setting of the pin you just mark where you have placed this one you mark the area where you have placed the two pins now after marking it remove all the things and draw a straight line if you will see here we are going to draw a straight line and then after where it touches the boundary of the glass slab outer boundary of the glass slab again you have to mark a 90 degree or a normal ray over there and finally you have to join the two lines now you can see now you can see that the angle of incident angle of reflect refraction angle of emergent and the lateral displacement now if you will calculate if you will measure the angle i and angle of emergent you will find that both angles are equal and the angle of refraction is less than that of the angle of incident so this says that when the light moves from the rarer medium it bends towards the normal when it enter in a glass slab and when it moves from the glass slab that means the denser medium to the rarer medium in the air then it moves away from the normal line so this is how we perform this experiment and let us see a close look of this our experiment how we are getting all the experiment see the angles which we have drawn this is our original pins this is the incident ray it bends this side and finally it comes out from the glass lab and this is the original ray we have drawn it to find the lateral displacement this is angle i angle of incidence this is angle r that is the angle of refraction and this is the emergent angle you will find that angle i is equals to angle r okay and this length between these two length we say that this is the lateral displacement so students this we have done with 30 degree you have to do one more angle that is 45 degree in our next page i think that it's clear to everyone and this is how we'll trace the path of the light when it moves through the uh, glass slab thank you